One of Governor Gretchen Whitmer's latest executive orders to combat the coronavirus shut down gyms and fitness studios. However, those closures and social distancing aren't stopping everyone from getting a workout in. 13 on your side, Sarah Makuta spoke to one local yoga studio that's staying connected to their clinic clients in the comfort of their own living rooms. You know, now that we're all stuck in the house, it's perfectly normal if you're starting to get a little cabin fever, as am I. But so many people are trying to just stick with a normal routine, including a normal fitness routine. Well, we spoke to one local yoga instructor who is supporting the West Michigan community in a very unique way. Funky Buddha Yoga Hothouse opened its first location in East Town a decade ago. Last week, the studio closed. We've actually been having discussions about closure, you know, what's best for the community, what's best for our staff. Um, as social distancing was becoming a thing, I wanted to be quite cognizant of there's no distance in a yoga studio, so how do we offer people the benefit of yoga? So that conversation had been happening for a while. Through the power of social media, yoga instructor Larissa Link is still connecting with West okay, Michigan yogis. A lot of people are in their homes for long periods of time, and yoga is something you can do with your kids, with your family. It doesn't require weights. There's nothing special that you need. If you've never done yoga before, you can just pop on. Nobody's watching you. And it's not just something to keep you busy these days. The Mayo Clinic says yoga can help manage anxiety. I think that movement is so important. There's all these studies that are showing that movement can boost the immune system. And it can really be any exercise, but for me, I think especially when we're in stress, the stress cycle, the worry cycle that happens, it's easy for us to go up into our minds. And in this time of stress, Larissa reminds us to remain grateful. One of my favorite gratitude practices is to follow the path. And basically what that means is like, oh, my arm moves to grab my snack. What's in that snack? And then can I be thankful for the farmers that helped put it together? Physically, we want to shut down. But that reminder of like, I'm in my house right now. I might be going a little bit stir crazy, but I'm grateful to be in this space that's comfortable. And I'm, you know, taking the moment of gratitude, whatever that might be for you. And if you want to get in on all the yoga fun, you can tune in to their Facebook live on Monday at 530. I'm Sarah Makuda, 13 on your side.